everyone, this is a little bit of an impromptu video I'm gonna do. Um, today it is like 65 degrees here in February in Chicago and so I got a bottle of Sun In on clearance um, a little while ago at Target and so I'm going to use it today and I've already used it once um, and I was really loving the result and so I'm gonna kind of document what I did today and I'm gonna keep doing it throughout the afternoon while I lay out um, and then I can give you guys kind of a little tutorial about a no-fail way to do it. As you can see, um, I did it on these portions that are down right now and you can't really mess it up um, with just one application so that's always good to know and then one other thing that I will say is you should always do a little bit of a test strand first so that you can um, make sure that you're not going to have an allergic reaction to anything in the product okay so I'm going to do my second application now and then um, resume filming outside <laughs> So I am back outside now. I just sprayed both sides of my hair and I'm trying to sit um, with one side in the sun and then the other. I've noticed that it takes about 20 minutes for it to dry completely on my hair with about, um, I would say, a medium application of product. I wouldn't have put maybe more than 15 or 20 pumps on each side. Um, probably more on this side because that's, you know, the side my part is too. So we're going to sit out here and marinate and hopefully turn out a little bit blonder. Hi guys, and so for every application, I've been wearing an old hoodie over my clothes and zipped up to protect my neck um, and my skin. And then I'm just using like a dinner napkin underneath here to uh, make sure that the spray doesn't touch my skin any more than it um, already is going to. But you could use a towel if you dye your hair a lot. You may have an old towel or something that you already use for hair dyeing purposes, but really anything will do a paper towel. Um, and then just be sure that you always comb the product through your hair right after you apply it so that you don't have, you know, just imagine how the spray bottle, um, a little round mark, and then other places don't have any. So this is just a tip that I have for you guys. Um, sun in is not supposed to be used on chemically color treated hair and I have the bottom underneath portion of my hair dyed platinum. And so here I just put that part up in a messy bun and let the other part um, hang over it. And this is where I put kind of the napkin to protect this part also from being exposed. I didn't really feel like experimenting with what may happen if you use it on chemically treated hair, at least not for today. Everybody. So I just got out here with my third application on. Oh, it's so beautiful outside. I feel like it is getting a little bit blonder. Um, I was reading some reviews about this product and people had said that they thought that it made their hair get dry and frizzy. And I just want to say that so far with the three applications, my hair hasn't been any more um, frizzy than it would be another day that I'm laying out. However, it is February, so we're having kind of an early spring day here. I don't know how it would be, you know, in the heat of the dog days of summer, but I haven't really had a problem. Um, um, and my hair is kind of naturally frizzy and prone to humidity problems and I'm doing just fine, no complaints here. <laughs> Hi guys, so this is after 20 minutes of sunning on the fourth and final application for today. Um, I'm really happy with the results as you can see. It kind of gradually turned me a lighter shade of blonde and I think that it turned out um, pretty even across my hair. And um, my hair actually doesn't look bad, like I could leave the house right now and it doesn't look like there's too much product in it. It doesn't look gritty, it doesn't look gross. So that's something else that I wanna note. Um, tomorrow it's supposed to be really warm out again. So if I have a chance to come out, I can maybe work on it again and do another tutorial video about how to do it step by step and achieve good gradual results nothing freaky happening here so I hope you guys enjoyed this little episode I did Just to give you guys a full picture, these are the same photos with a filter applied so you could see that there's no um, bad color, nothing weird looking here, and then 
This is how my hair looked with the part that I had to pull back. You could see it doesn't not match the part of my hair that was originally a dark blonde up there. Um, nothing looks too weird. Everything matches and looks natural. 